Hello everyone, this is Game Frost, and in today's video, I will review the powerful i5-13600K from Intel. This beast of a chip is so strong, I don't think I'll ever upgrade in the next 10 years. But is this CPU worth your money? Well, let's find out. Ever since I transitioned from my OEM Dell computer to a custom built one, I always dreamed of a CPU that can do it all in most applications and games. With little to no stutters, no bottlenecks, and even slowdowns, the Pentium G7400 has served its purpose, but it is time to put it back in the box. The 13600K has crazy specifications under its IHS. Launched in quarter 4 2022, Retailing at $319, it packs a whopping 14 cores and 20 threads. Six of them are P cores clocked at 3.5 GHz base and 5.1 GHz boost. The 8E cores go as low as 2.6 GHz base and a high of 3.9 GHz. Thanks to its 13th gen architecture codename Raptor Lake, it has a 10 nanometer process which is miles better than the 14 nanometer plus 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 plus. Now we can't miss the TDP can we? Well, despite being a monster, it is also a powerhouse. Its base TDP is 125 and its max for turbo is 181 watts. Yikes. So if you have a basic Intel cooler, you have to upgrade immediately. Getting something like an AIO should cool the beast. At least the CPU supports both DDR4 and DDR5 configurations. In the BIOS, the motherboard already identified the CPU because it's on the latest update obviously. Thank you Pentium once again for, for the service. It turns out that some people recommend changing the mode in the BIOS to give the CPU a quick and easy undervolt. So I brought it down to mode 9. The default was 12 and there was a little temperature difference. Now this CPU is being cooled by a 180 watt co tower cooler that I picked up from Macari at $11. Name ID Cooling SE224 XT Black. That's a mouthful. It tries its absolute best to cool down a power hungry chip. So far at the time of recording, it is doing just fine and no fires were present. Go star for the cooler. It is now time for testing and it will be split into three categories. Benchmark software, games, and a side of emulation if you are into that. Well then, that's the end of me talking in the first half. Enjoy the rest of the benchmarks.
for implant certification will shutter its doors. Man, you got off lucky, homie.
I think those plums are wreaking havoc on my gut. In conclusion, obviously the CPU is definitely worth it in 2023 and beyond. Not only that it's packing so many cores, but every single game I tested was smooth and it just made things more enjoyable. The bad news is that it may warp my perception of performance if I ever use the slower processor at some point. Performance aside, I urge that you get a good CPU cooler and an ILM to make sure that the CPU has good contact with the heatsink. If you can get one for cheap such as used, it is still a good value. 
I will place the links down in the description for new and used i5 13600K processors for you guys to buy and enjoy in your new gaming rig. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next review video.